it, it continues. So what is the definition then of righteousness? Righteousness would be a person then that would not take that deal of slavery. And, you know, there are talk show hosts and other people today that they really um, speak a lot about, uh, you know, the, the, the plan to enslave humanity. And it's like, well, humanity was already enslaved in the beginning because that was the, that's the deal. In other words, to have access, to get beyond the, the, the guards, the gatekeepers, one must be a registered slave, um, and that that's a spiritual registration. That's a spiritual signature, and it, it has to do with free will. In other words, I agree to become a slave in exchange for the things I need, including um, many people like to be ruled, and they want to have that structure, and you know, this is also called conformity to the world, they want to have someone over them who's telling them what to do. It makes them feel safe. It makes them feel like they have a place. And they're trusting that the one above them that they're enslaved to is going to be, you know, since they're a form of property at this point, that they're going to take care of their property. So it's a, it's a, a mutual exchange. Then that person up the ladder is also then thus enslaved to the next one up. And no one really knows how high the ladder goes. I suppose we could liken it to a pyramid and say that the ladder uh, goes to the top of the pyramid and the top of the pyramid would be the devil, right? He's the one that organized this sort of reptilian order of almost like a military order of slaves and masters, which you could look at as command. In other words, one's a lieutenant and, and commands the sergeants. The sergeants then command um i mean one is a captain uh and and commands the sergeants let's say or, or a commander and commands the sergeants and the sergeants command the um the privates right and then the privates first class can command the private regular class and if someone goes up in rank then the people that if you used to be below someone but you go up in rank above them then the person that you were saluting now they must salute you first and <clears throat> And of course, do what do what you order them to do. So the military is very much based as an external kind of embodiment of this slave situation that we that we find ourselves in. It's it's just a reflection of what's already there in the spiritual realm. And so when you're um, agreeing to be inducted into the into the slavery, which is basically into society, then you're agreeing to follow certain rules including um, the rule of secrecy, because this is all, this could not, the slavery couldn't thrive if people talked about it. It has to be held in secret. In other words, advancement, all kinds of things happen, and, and, and there's enforcement that goes on that's both supernatural and man-made, but it's really the people that operate within it are possessed, obviously, and in that possession, they do things or they order things, and those things they do are at the behest of those who own them. And in a sense, you could say we're born dead, and to become twice dead is to become one of them. Eventually, people change over time, and it's been, you know, we've all had stories, and we've all seen people that were there and intact at one point, and then eventually they just weren't there anymore. And we see this with uh, people all the time. I would conjecture, then, that this is because... Once you've gone to that point and you get older or your utility is not what it used to be, uh, you tend to not be there. So there's, you know, they can call it Alzheimer's and everything else, and those are diseases. But, I mean, obviously this idea of losing one's memory and uh, things like that, it, it's kind of external also embodiment of what happens to people. They lose their thing that makes them themselves. It's almost like losing your memory. And so they say, well, there's nobody home. And it's like, well, quite literally, there is nobody home because that that was there was given over in exchange for uh, access to the world situation. In other words, to um, belong. So you can't really blame people. I guess if there is blame, it would be people teaching one thing, say, in church. 
and then doing another, which is what Jesus complained about the most. It seems that that drove him nuts more than anything else is the hypocrites of the world. So you're, you're preaching righteousness, that is not being a slave to the, to the world system. And you're, you're preaching righteousness, but you yourself,